Ready? We're good. Oh shit. That looks like a little too far away, doesn't it? Let's get it closer because it's so noisy out here. Let me fix this thing. It's already recording. It's good. We'll say Shalom. We'll say all praises. Yahweh. Baha Shub. Yahweh Shad. Baha Shub. Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders. Great millstone. You taught us the right way. Shalom to all the Akim out there throughout the earth, throughout the four corners of the earth. I know y'all been out there teaching the people, warning the people. See, we deep into the Rona. What's today's date? It's like 13th or something like that. So we deep into the Rona. Have you noticed people start getting pissed off? You notice that? I've been watching a lot of videos and seeing a lot of articles on the internet. And everybody, a lot, most people getting fed up with the government. And I noticed too, a lot of people are saying they're not going to take the chip. You notice that? That's like because major uh, news sites is talking about the chip now. Talking about the market of beef. I seen Fox News, uh, Channel 28. Here in Columbus just po posted a, a story. And you can read the comments. Everybody's like, I'm not taking the chip. You know what I mean? That they can tell Bill Gates to go to hell. And people, you, you see when the virus first started, everybody was going along with it. Yeah. Now motherfuckers, they're getting pissed. They can't leave the house. This shit is beautiful, man. Well, that's what's going on out here right now. Do you have anything to talk about? I had a song I wanted to read. You want to read it? Just go into this. I was just reading this in the car. I was waiting on you. It was fired. Uh, I think it's Psalm 23. Psalm 31? It was, might be 29, somewhere around there. Let me see it real quick. Oh, yeah, let's get that Psalm 28. I think that's it. We're just going to read through this. Psalm 28 1. And to thee will I cry, O Yahweh, my rock. Be not silent to me. That's why we've been crying out to the Lord. You know, you're going to deliver us from the mess. Go ahead. Be silent to me. I go down to the pit. He says, uh, hear the voice of my supplication when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands. To oh, yeah, yeah, right. When they, you know, when that Mark of the Beast thing coming out, you pray to the Most High that you, know, you don't get that chip, that He can keep us safe during that time. You know, the scriptures say what? You're not going to be able to buy or sell nothing without that chip, without the market of beast. So, you know, you got to pray to the Lord. He's going to feed you during this time. How is how you going to eat? You know what I mean? So the Lord going to have to guide you. Go ahead. When I lift up my hands toward that uh, holy, holy, holy uh, draw me not away with the wicked. And with the workers of iniquity. Yeah, don't draw us away with the wicked. Oh, you see a lot of the wicked, they claiming they're not going to take the chip now. They're going to take that motherfucker. Yeah, they're going to take it. When, it, when shit gets rough, they get hungry, the babies is crying, they're going to take the chip. They're going to take it. Especially the woman. The woman, she's going to be the first to take it. And the woman is going to look at you like you crazy because you didn't take it. Like, it broke ass, bitch. Nah, I like the chip having ass. You know how this woman are. Chip, don't take it. Sell. Also, it's going to be 2.4, so if you don't take it, you're going to die. So, a lot of people, it's not going to just be by right on death. A lot of people are scared of death. You don't want to you 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 continue to live this bullshit life, so of course you're going to take it. You know what I'm saying? They might, they, some people might endure for a little bit. And then eventually, you know, it's going to go. Just like I was saying earlier, I was reading from the map piece. There was a time when, uh, when uh, uh, the Greeks attacked the uh, Israelites. And uh, it was that one, I forgot who it was, but it was that one story with the, uh, remember that nigga, I think it was Jason, that killed that uh, elephant? Yeah. It was that battle. The nigga, the Israel, they was resisting at first. But then after a while, after they were being under siege for a certain amount of time, they was like, oh, we should just go make peace with the heathen and follow their laws and shit. 
So yeah, that's how Jay can do it too. Yeah. I just like when it's coming out of Egypt during the Exodus. You know, after a while, a lot of Israelites they started getting weak. I want to go back to Egypt. This is too much to bear coming out here in the wilderness. That's gonna be a lot to bear. You know, when they start chipping people. That's gonna be a lot to bear when they force some vaccinations on your children. Hey, they might force vaccinations on your children. You can't do nothing about it. You know? They might come and snatch them away from you. You know? It says, uh, we speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Oh, that's too, that's too dirty. But that's definitely Esau, too, though. They speak peace to their neighbors, but, you know, they really got evil in their hearts. You got to watch out for a guy always talking all peaceful and lovey-dovey. You know what I'm saying? Because that's really, that's an evil, evil person. That's an evil motherfucker. Go ahead. Give them according to their deeds and according to their wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands and to the good desert. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands. He shall destroy them and not build them up. They're going to destroy y'all and not build you up. All you heathens out there, all you damn demons of the world. The Lord going to destroy you, not build you up. Especially the Edomites. Y'all going to get destroyed. Oh, like Malachi says. He shall build, but I will throw down. You ain't going to build nothing. The America is going to be destroyed. The Lord going to destroy it. And y'all is not going to build it again. I was just watching a video this morning. What was that from, man? Fire of Learning Channel. And he was going into, uh, you know, how empires fell. And he was going into what would happen theoretically if America was about to fall. Because they can see it as the, the collapse of an empire, bro. Why do you think, why do you think everybody's out of work? That's because the economy crashed. You got, is there more to that? Says, uh, uh, yeah, I would, uh, so I can bless thee, Yahweh, because he have heard the voice of my supplication. Yahweh is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song will I praise him. Yahweh is the strength, and he is the salvation. It's like it is the saving strength of his anointed. Oh, who's his anointed? The anointed. Oh, that's where you get the word Christians, right? That's the Israelites is the real anointed. And the only real Christian is an Israelite. You can't be a Christian unless you're an Israelite. You got to be anointed. And only Israel is anointed. Because that's the Lord's chosen people. Israel. Not no heathens. He's not. He's the savior of the heathens. That's what the Christians will tell you. That the Lord is the redeemer of the heathens. Go ahead. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also, lift them up forever. I think that was the end of the world. Yeah. That's the point I just want to get. And you keep going if you got something else. That's just, uh, Psalm, Psalm 3. Psalm 3. And, uh, like you say, we uh, pray for uh, protection and so on and so forth. And uh, time to get back. And like we were saying, too. A lot of people that say they taking the chip, uh, that's even people in the truth too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, especially yeah. yeah somebody you know, like if we've been talking all these years. Yeah. We've been talking. Now we gonna see you gonna back it up, right? Yeah. I pray the Lord, you know, give me the man, make it so I don't get the chip. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't have that proud spirit. Like, oh, you already saved. Oh, what does that mean to be saved? The Christian says, oh, I. I got saved today. The Lord Jesus Christ saved me today. Now, that's not what it means to be saved. To be saved means a physical deliverance, bro. It's like the Lord going to save us from the chip. And then he's going to save us from the uh, thermonuclear destruction. He's going to save us from the missiles. We're going to actually literally, literally be saved. Physically. And spiritually. But yeah, that's the old Christian thing. Oh, I was watching Pastor Stephen Anderson... This dork. But yeah. I think he said the mark of the beast is the microchip, though. But I was watching Pastor Stephen Anderson. They said they was going around knocking on people's doors all day, talking about Jesus. And he's like, we saved 20 people today. 
Like, you ain't saved nobody. They still in their house. They still living in America. How'd you get saved? Uh, Psalms 144 says, Keep me, O Yahweh, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man. Yeah, preser preserve us from the... Who's the violent man? Is the Edomites. Okay, Esau's the violent man. He's coming at us with his violence. Force, they're going to have forced vaccinations. You know what I'm saying? They already... They got us under a threat of violence now. Oh, like, where I stay, they got a 12 o'clock curfew. I know a lot of cities guys still got an 8 o'clock curfew, don't they? They say if you out past a certain time, you get locked up. You get it. You know what I'm saying? They'll threaten you with violence. Says, but then you said, what about your boy over there in the Philippines? What was his name? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I forgot his name. Dur Duran. Duran. I forget his name. But, but he's putting people to death. Did he say he's going to kill you? Yeah. They said if you caught outside your house, we're going to shoot you. Yeah. That could come to America. Says, who have preferred, uh, who have purpose to overthrow my goings? That's what Esau's been doing this whole goddamn time. Scripture says, but uh, 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 look at watching the righteous, so he can pretty much overthrow him, something like that. So that's the whole main goal. Cause like these niggas, they gonna easily take the chip, but the elect is gonna be, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be hard for Esau. So he gonna try to do these different tactics, putting this on news, saying we the terrorists. That's why y'all gotta watch what y'all say on the internet too, man. You can't be posting no crazy, bugged out shit. Threatening people with violence or nothing dumb, you know? Because you best believe they watching you. They watching everything we're doing. You know, they got a record of all your texts, all your phone calls, all your browsing history, everything, man. They watch you. Oh, they even came out with that coronavirus shit. They admitted that they're tracking people. Google was letting the government tap into the Android, like they was already doing it anyway. But they tracking everybody in real time to see how to with their and with their Android phones to see how the people are moving around. You got you got something. Huh? Oh, I thought you had it. Yeah, I'm looking for it. I don't want to start speaking or something. All right. I'll find it. Actually, I think I found it. All right, good. I knew the spirit was going to have to get it. All right, good. This is an example. This is another good reason to read the stories, you know what I'm saying? Because when you come in that time, like, it's really the same story over and over again. The story of the Exodus. Maccabees, the story of Esther. It's always the heathens trying to kill us and shit and, and make us bow down to their will instead of uh, the Most High. But, like, uh, oh shit, I, I'm gonna get this picture real quick. Preset. And I'm gonna get this later. But, uh, this is like, oh, uh, go ahead. Uh, this is, uh, like the Lord said, there's always, the Lord always has somebody in, a, in, a, in every single time period, He always has somebody that always stood, uh, that stood for the Lord. While everybody else is going off, there's always somebody. That was doing the work of the Lord. Like, yeah. whatever, what's that, uh, 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 shit? Well, during the time of, uh, like, uh, Jezebel and then we had, like, Obadiah up in the caves, and Elijah. So there's, there's always that small ribbon, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Romans 11. Yeah, 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 yeah. It says, Romans 11 and, uh, I'm going to start at, I'm going to start at, uh, 3. It says, Lord, thy, uh, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine archers, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. And what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Oh, that's what I was just talking about, I believe, man. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. talking about, uh, I yeah, when they was when they Obadiah and them was up in the cave. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Elijah thought he was alone. You know what I'm saying? Because they just killed everybody. 
That's why the guy just gave, he smiled and waved at us, bro. It was, it was very, uh, what's the word? Disturbing. Yeah, disturbing. <laughs> very uncomfortable. Yeah. It, was, it was uncomfortable as fuck. So, awkward as fuck. But yeah, like, that's, it might get down, well, it's going to get down like that. Like, like some brothers, gonna, I mean, of course, the Lord's going to make a, uh, what's it called, an intercession uh, standard. He's going to make a standard. He's going to deliver a lot of us, but some of us are actually going to die for his face. Man, but some you might be alone. You might think that everybody dead and shit. But we know if you know the secret, though, there's really no death. Yeah, right. you know that secret. Uh, yeah. it says, uh, what did the Lord say? I'm from the God of the, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jake. Jacob. I'm the God of the living, not the God of the dead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. It says, even so, then at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. A remnant. So there's always going to be that remnant. Like that remnant right now is us. Have we the remnant in Columbus? Yeah. Or everybody at Columbus, Ohio teaching? Yeah. Women, I see some brothers teaching in Columbus, Georgia. Sorry. <laughs> well, I don't know about Columbus, Ohio. That was just us. Oh, you had Comfy's people out here uh, teaching? Uh, <laughs> oh, bro, they salty as fuck right now. Good boy. So we, we, we talked to Comfy's people a few times. We got some videos with them on. Just type in Comfy on this channel. You'll see the videos we have with them. Like, when one video, they literally got in their car and peeled off. All I did was ask them if Jermaine Green is the God sent comforter. Is he, is he really? The, is, no, I asked them if they really believe that. Y'all got it. Man. Now, he dead, ain't he? The God sent comforter got put to death. He said it was a coronavirus. Oh, he got killed by the corona? Well, they blaming everything on the corona, yeah. though. Either way, he's sick. How the hell did the, the comforter get sick? Yeah, he should heal himself. And he's just known by the coronavirus. Like, come on, man. That, that doesn't make no damn sense. That's just stupid. You know what I'm and he's locked up for some stupid. He's stealing money from your own people. Asshole. Now they're going to say, oh, he raised back from the dead. And now he's a... <laughs> he's like Tupac. It's like, get the fuck out of here. They're going to be like, there was a comfy sighting. He's down in Jamaica. Oh, <laughs> he's down there. He's down there spreading the ministry. You know, you ain't know how people are. They, 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 they ain't gonna admit it. We know the God sent comforter is His word. That's what it is. The Holy Spirit. Go ahead. I got this uh, edition of Esther. Or Esther, uh, Esther, edition uh, thirteen and eight. Or Esther, that far. It says uh, then. Uh, Mordecai thought upon all the works of the Lord and made his prayer unto him, saying, uh, O Lord, Lord, the King Almighty, for the whole earth is in thy power, and if thou hast appointed to save Israel, there is no man that can gainsay thee. They hear because he's appointed to save Israel. Always. Yeah, that's the Lord's people. Go ahead. Since for thou hast made heaven and earth and all the wondrous things under the heaven, thou art Lord of all things, and there is no man that can resist thee, which art the Lord. Thou knowest all things, and thou knowest, Lord, that it was neither in contempt nor pride nor for any desire of glory that I did not bow down to the proud Haman. Yeah, Haman, he was an Edomite too. Haman, the Edomite, that shows you it's always been about Jake. They was all the way from Persia, and they were still dealing with some goddamn Edomites in Persia. So, you can't get away from this devil, you know what I'm saying? And he's always, the Esau is always right there trying to fuck you up, man. Same thing today. Esau is the accuser. And, 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 uh, that's the same thing. Same thing's gonna happen today. They, they want you to bow down to him by taking that chip, by taking his implant, because that's that's like saying that, that you're God, you're you're my master. Nigga. That's what people are just saying. Take that chip, and then he's gonna be mad when he sees some people ain't doing it, and he gonna want to kill you. you know what I'm saying. I mean, shit, you. You say you say one thing wrong about homosexuality, this nigga wants you dead, man. That's how much more the chip. Yeah, what happened to good old freedom of speech in America? I remember back when I was little, we used to always say, "It's America, I can say what I want, bitch." That, they threw that out the window years ago. Now you can't say shit. People are sensitive as hell. Bunch of faggots. It's like that. He's got a whole channel deleted right there. You say that right there. They delete your whole channel just for that one word. 
Ready? You watch the Dave Chappelle stand up? Yeah. And he was like, I'm going to say it or something. I forget. He's like, bang it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, like, damn, that feels good. Yeah, fucking, uh, he a faggot too, though. Bro. Oh, yeah. He said he, he fucking titty fucked the uh, training. Oh. But, uh, this nigga, uh, Boondocks, they said it's fucked up because you, cause you, uh, on like TV, you know, like the United Bleep Out shit, whatever. Yeah. They said, I'm about to say nigga and I'm about to say faggot. They gonna, the only thing they gonna bleep out is, uh, faggot, but yeah. they, they gonna bleep out nigga. And he's like, faggot, faggot is bleeping, bleeping. And then he said nigga, and then he's like, you still hear it. That's but, okay. That tells you that a nigga, they don't give, that's like, as I said earlier too, I made a video like sometime this week. If you say anything about these niggas, your videos ain't gonna get deleted. Hell no. You say something about a so called GEW, I ain't gonna say it because they gonna probably delete it. They gonna delete your video. A J-E-W. Oh. A GEW. A <laughs> GEW. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, that's a better way to do it. That way the speech recognition don't pick it up. Yeah. It's a, he's really a, an Esau and an Edomite. He said, soon they gonna do, do the speech recognition on the word Edomite. They probably already did. I noticed too, ah shit. You ever use them, uh, that, uh, the YouTube apps on the TV? Cause I you use the computer, but sometimes I be using the TV app. And a lot of times I be watching a video from a brother or whatever. And it, you know how you can usually scroll down and go to the channel and see all the videos? I've noticed for a lot of truth videos, it, you can't go to their channel on the app. But they did a little sneaky, little bullshit ass ways to try. I mean, you still gonna get. You can't stop this word. You know what I mean? You can't stop it. The word's already out in the It's already went global. Yeah, you, you know, it's too late to shut it. You can't. You can shut off the internet today. It is still too late. The word's already got out. Just glad I've been. For the salvation of Israel, to against the souls of his people. But I did this that I might not prefer the glory of man above the glory of God. Yeah, see, if you prefer the glory of the Most High over the glory of men, a lot of people they just want the glory in the sight of men. They want to feel great in the sight of men, or feel right in the sight of men. All like with this Easter bullshit. Everybody's going to celebrate Easter so they can look right in the sight of men. You know what I mean? Oh, it's the thing to do. Everybody's doing it. You don't celebrate Easter, oh, you're a piece of shit, you know? Or like Christmas. Then you get frowned on if you don't celebrate Christmas. But we know the truth, so we'd rather please the Most High than please men. But we ain't gonna celebrate Christmas. We're gonna say, fuck your Christmas, fuck your Easter. Okay, we, ain't have we don't care if people, you know, they look down on us for it. Fuck them. If we know the Most High kill us. What you got? You got something? Are you with your girl? Nice specimen. They eat big right there. Big. I'm, I'm like, man, you need them big sometimes. You need them big, healthy children. Shit. Eat my children. I ain't getting no children. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it, bitch. He said, uh, he said, uh, that's it. Okay. He said, these people like worship any but thee. Oh, God, these people like do it in Christ. And now, oh, Lord God and uh, King. Spare thy people, for their eyes are upon us to drink us to not. Yea, they desire to destroy the inheritance. They have been dying from the beginning. Despise not the portion which thou hast delivered out of Egypt for thy own self. Hear my prayer and be merciful unto thine inheritance. Turn our sorrow unto joy, that we may live, O uh, uh, oh Lord, and praise thy name. That, uh, that, uh, so like, and restore not the mouth of them that praise thee, O oh Lord, all Israel in like manner of Christ. You wanna walk to a different spot? Probably not. Huh? Weird, weird. Just to move around a little bit. Oh, this loud ass shit kinda getting on my nerves after a while. I mean, you can stay, I mean, yeah, let's move around a little bit. Yeah, it's kinda loud, ain't it? I just wanted to get a little bit on there. Cause that, that's a nice little scenery. You know what I'm saying? That's where you wanna walk to. Let's go by the lake over here. So yeah, what is that, Monday? Hey, yeah, ain't nobody at the park today.
We came here last week though. This shit was jumping out here, wasn't it? Yeah. Nobody care about your stay at home orders. You think Jake gonna listen to a stay at home order? Shit, you know during the coronavirus, Jake he don't look at it like it's an emergency. He's like, oh shit, I ain't gotta go to work. Yeah. He's on vacation. <laughs> this is a vacation. At the perfect time too in the spring. Well, it's cold as fuck today. That's a nice little spot right there too. Ooh, that smells amazing, doesn't it? Let's go over here. This is a nice little park though, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna go down here with the geese. You smell that? Yeah, it's that shit still smell good, don't it? Yeah. What is that? I have no idea. Yeah, uh, That's not that, uh, what is it? I have no idea. It's probably something that tells you what it is. All types of fucking uh, plant life and shit in our yard. Oh hell yeah, we gonna our shit gonna look amazing. Yeah. Whatever you desire. Oh yeah, it's a little more calmer over here. Damn geese must not look. Yeah, them geese. I mean, I'm cool with the geese, but they kind of some assholes sometimes. Which way you wanna go? Let's go. Let's go over this way a little more. Yeah, we mean the kingdom. It's all gonna be a paradise, bro. You can walk down the street, just pick apples off the of trees, and eat them. They act, they act like that, so you can't do that. That's a crime. Oh, this is this is nice right here. This is nice. This is not too shabby. You go right here. You wanna go right here? Nice little spot. Shit, we looking at them like they crazy. Shit. These people don't know nothing. Who do they think they are? What's that scripture? In Galatians. Uh, when a man thinks himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Yeah, that's the, that's the spirit of the people of this world, man. They walk around all proud, chest out. Like, I'm so great. Bitch, you ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. If you ain't doing the work of the Lord, you ain't nothing. You're a piece of trash. You're a piece of filth. You're rubbish. What's that? Uh, that's another good word. You're a peon. A peasant. You're a filthy pleb. I can't say you. <laughs> said three uh, times. Oh, faggot? Yeah. <laughs> I remember mean, we were watching one of our old videos, man. Every other word we said, we just yelled at people. Oh, faggots. Faggots. Bro, we was, wow, we was crazy. We first started TV, we was fucking nuts. We was insane. Topic, but go ahead. We gotta get these scriptures rolling. Damn. What scripture is it? Uh, no. Yeah, let's set the scripture up.
let the multitude perish, which was born in vain. So the multitude of these people, they was born in vain. Their life is in vain. <laughs> Get it out. Everything they do is vanity. Like, you see these people in their little bullshit-ass lives and their bullshit-ass day-to-day activities they engage in? It's all some all bullshit-ass, vain-ass bullshit. You people in your trash-ass lives and your trash-ass ways. You know what I mean? People ain't out here, you know, praising the Lord, keeping His commandments. Because the Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments. How come ain't nobody keeping His commandments? How come all you goddamn heathens was celebrating Easter yesterday? What commandment said to celebrate Easter? Easter is the name of a goddess, like literal, the name of a goddess, a Germanic goddess, which really go back to the ancient world, the Ishtar. Y'all, y'all have a, you, they got a day called Jesus Day. That's why, man, y'all deserve to be destroyed. Y'all people, because y'all love the lies of the devil. You know what I mean? You love the devil. And you love it. You love the lies. You love the devil. Here it is. The Easter is named after a goddess. Y'all celebrate it anyway. You know what I mean? It, y'all, y'all just believe anything, man. Y'all a bunch of heathens. Don't the Christians say there's only two commandments? Love the Lord that God with all thy soul, and to love thy brother. But hell, y'all breaking the first commandment. Celebrating Easter. That's breaking the first commandment. If you love the Lord thy God with all thy soul and with all thy might, you're not going to celebrate a day named after a goddess. I mean, is that hard to understand? It's something you should not do. But they do it anyway. That's why the Lord, man, the Lord going to mess y'all up, man, in a bad way. Here goes your girl again. She getting in shape for you. She's not that tall. She just got them big ass legs. how we gonna do Esau. He came through a motherfucking house with a fucking hammer, bro. He's smashing. Did you see that? Oh, shit. You guys watch that. He said, huh? You should have seen where he's shaking his head, though. He ain't doing it no more. Make me look stupid. He really came over here tripping. What you looking for? It's, it's, it's pretty much says, like, if you don't have wisdom, you're pretty much worthless. Oh, it's worthless. plenty of scriptures on that. I think it's in his pocket. I can't even find the word. I ain't weird in a minute. Did I bring my phone? I forgot I have my phone. This world is what? Starting off adultery. That's that's the wisdom of this world. They got the spirit of adultery on them. I mean, look at all these people out. These people is foul as hell, man. How how many how many families do you see to stay together in this country? None. Hey, you ever see a family where it's just been a mother and a father, they've been together for twenty years, raised a beautiful family together? That's you don't see that. Usually it's the woman. She not had, you know, multiple babies daddies you know she's got five kids from multiple men and you know, some dudes it's like the goddamn brady bunch and the, the guy comes he brings some kids with her so it's confusion 
That's the spirit of adultery. People constantly getting new wives and new husbands, leaving each other, getting with new people. You know what I'm saying? It's disgusting. People are having sex with each other's uh, wives. She can do all things and remain in herself. She make of all things new. And all ages enter into holy souls. She make of them friends of God and prophets. For God loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. You that dwell in wisdom. And what does that say when the beginning of that? It says something about then it liken wisdom unto a woman. Yeah. Yeah, because you look that word wisdom up in the Greek and it's uh, Sophia. And Sophia is a feminine word. So the name for wisdom is Sophia. Oh, that's where you get the word philosopher. Uh, phile means to like or to love. So. And sopher comes from the word sophia, which means wisdom. So to be a philosopher means you're a lover of wisdom. So we're philosophers. And I said we're lovers of wisdom. So we're prophets. What? Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Oh, uh, no. Ahead. So we prophets, apostles, philosophers. What else are we? Teachers, priests. seers, priests, kings, kings. Yeah. all that. Lovers of wisdom. Hold on. You guess it? <laughs> uh, I go ahead. I can, I can hold it. It's crazy. I finally found it. It's uh, Wisdom of Solomon 9. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm probably going to start off a little bit. I'm going to start at 2. It says, Well, 1, it says, Oh, my God, oh God of my fathers, and Lord of mercy, who have made all things with thy word and ordained man through thy wisdom. He said, Made all things with that word. Ooh, that's fire right there. So. It says that he should have dominion over the creatures <coughs> which thou made and order the uh, world according to equity and righteousness and execute judgment with an upright heart. It says, Give me wisdom that sitteth by thy throne and reject me not from among thy children. For I am thy servant and son of thine handmaid and of a feeble person and of a short time and too young for the understanding of the judgment of all thy laws. A man be never so perfect among the children of men, yet if thy wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. Ooh, and read that, read that, read that last part again. That, that was fire. Which one, what's the scripture number? It's on Psalm 9, and uh, I think it was. Uh, I gotta remember that one. That's a good one. That's why sometimes it's worth it to sit there and wait on the scripture. You gotta find it. That's a good one. So, uh, this is uh, King Solomon speaking. So, this also, remember that scripture where he said, uh, uh, give me a heart of understanding and uh, no tomorrow where I can, yeah. uh, so I can judge that people. Oh, yeah, was that so first kings? Yeah. So it says, uh, For though a man be never so perfect among the children of men, yet if thy wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. Ooh, he shall be nothing regarded. So if the Lord's wisdom ain't with you, you're going to be nothing. You're going to be out here cold by yourself. You out there with no help, no strength, no covering. Significant. A little, a little, like, like, scripts, like I just read earlier, it says if, if, if you have wisdom, the Lord's going to love you. So obviously, if you don't have wisdom, the Lord ain't going to love you. Ooh. And if the Lord don't love you, he ain't going to care for you. He ain't going to do nothing for you. He got nothing for you. He got nothing for you. Even the Lord, in what John, I forgot what it was, I think it was 14 maybe, he said, he said, if you keep my commandments, uh, the Father will love you. And I would love you. So if you, if you do the opposite of that, the Lord don't love you. You don't care. You know well, here's something. Here's a good one. Proverbs 13 and uh, 9. The light of the righteous rejoice, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. You know what I mean? Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well advised is wisdom. See? So with the well of, see, we're well advised. We have wisdom. We're well, well, that's why we advise. We know what we 
find out part of that bullshit ass coronavirus shit going. That's why we know what the mark of the beast. We know that's the microchip. We see the shit coming. We know it's coming. That's why we ain't, you know what I'm saying? We ain't bug out when they, when the corona ha happened. These bitches and women, they bugging out, buying toilet paper, buying all the ramen. Still can't get no ramen. I, mean, I heard this bitch, uh, I guess it was in Columbus. This bitch went to, uh, I think it was Target River, fuck. She bought literally all the fucking toilet paper. Shit, you, should, you should get your ass beat for that. Yeah, dumb bitch. And why the hell would you buy all that toilet paper? Like, greedy. Buy some food, at least. Uh, buy yeah. some shit. Like, you can use towels and shit for a toilet paper. If you run out of toilet paper, you can use, be using towels and shit. You worrying about fucking toilet paper. That's just the dumbest shit ever. Even going to the store now, I still don't buy a lot of stuff. Yeah. I, mean, I just buy what I need. Yeah. It's like we're going back to the Exodus. We, we already, uh, when the Lord gave him the manna, he said, just take what you need for the day. Yeah. Don't be trying to save and hoard it. Because something going to happen to it anyway. The maggots will form on it. Yeah. You're going to make yourself a target. Yeah, gonna we'll come and steal your shit any goddamn way. Then on top of that, they got uh, executive orders. I think it's what's called whatever. They can take your shit. Oh yeah, they can take you. They can take you and put you to work on yeah. some government projects under the executive order. They can take your car. Oh yeah. Like, you see that in movies too, it's like even on low level, like cops. I have to think of what the commandeer. Yeah, oh yeah, rush hour. That's, yeah. I was just watching rush hour too. Like, I got on VCR. That movie's fire. Bro. They have to be racist as hell toward the Chinese. They need to be able to make that movie. That's a good movie. Yeah, yeah, you just come up, take, they can just take your shit, man. LPD, LPD, that's your number. You need your number, too. Well, that shit was funny as well. But yeah, they can do that. They can take your shit, man. So what's the fucking point? Like, what's the point of even, this is worthless. They gonna take your shit any goddamn way. Or the Lord might just kill you and you, or, or how about this? A lot of you people don't know how to start fire, so you're just gonna have a bag of rice just sitting there. <laughs> you threw. And you just like, oh, shit. You can pour some water until it gets soft. Oh, ah. oh shit. Hey, hey. Hey, that's for you retards. I should have told y'all that. Oh, yeah, they, they you gotta soak it. That's what you're supposed to do before you cook it anyway. Then. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, the rice. They, it was my, it's easy to get rice now, but you still can't get no fucking ramen. You know, some fat bitches going. It's always the fat bitch going in there buying it all, man. Sorry. I got like four packs of ramen left. Sorry. That's messed up, man. I tell you, like, go to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree had buy the singles. Yeah, ain't nobody fucking with that shit. They got, they got water. They got water. Nobody's yeah. fucking on that shit. Oh, they, I seen they had water at Kroger. Yeah. Finally. That's crazy. You gotta get there early though. They the cheapest fucking ones. So I don't know why nobody going over there. That's the everything. You get a dollar in that bitch. Hell yeah. They got the cup noodles, they got the regular noodles. Like we told you, you gotta learn how to uh, distill water too. You might have to learn how to do that. You better hurry up before the internet shuts up and learn how to su survive. Cause the Lord gave us knowledge and wisdom. If you was wise, you would study shit. Shit, shit is good to, it's good to know. The more stuff, it's good to study the trees and the herbs. You know, we just talked about that last week. It's good to know what's edible out here. I mean, something as simple as knowing that you can eat dandelions. Hey, them violets, you can eat those. They say violets can get rid of headaches. I don't know if that's true. I ate them. They don't taste good. You can eat uh, duck. Are you? That's not lawful. You can eat duck, can't you? Yeah. I don't know who would want to eat duck. I heard it's greasy. Okay. You hung? I ain't eat that. I ain't eat no. I couldn't do it. I try it. Psalms 112. Really, we ain't afraid of nothing. You know what I'm saying? We actually we are afraid of the most. We terrified of the most high. That's what we afraid of. It's weird because we read one. I'm gonna skip down. It says Psalms 112 and one. It says, "Praise ye Yahweh. Blesses the man that feareth Yahweh. That delighteth." That is the spirit. Blesses he that feareth Yahweh. Cause you're supposed to fear the most high. Cause most high is terrible. It says that delighteth greatly in his commandments. I'm just going down to verse uh, 6. It says, uh, uh, Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. So we're not going to be afraid of oh, evil. That's a good one. Where is that at again? Psalms 112. Psalms 112. Read that again. He said he should not be afraid of the evil tidings. What's the evil tidings? We hear it on the news. And that's the evil tidings. And we got to... 
<laughs> All these geese out here, bro, they wild. That's some hood geese. Yeah. This is kind of the hood over here. But yeah, so uh, we ain't afraid of the evil tigers. We're not afraid because people freaking out over the, the vaccine and the microchip. They're afraid of it. I see women post, I'm so scared. I'm, I'm scared to death over this. That's too, yeah, that's too, that's, that's too damn bad. That's a good one for you right there. I'll take it. Give me the thick one. You can have it. I'm old. So, so when you get older, they can just go take the raggedy bitches. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's a warm, bro. That's like the, uh... King <laughs> David. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> what was we talking about? See, the woman's a devil. I should have been walking by and get distracted. You see, they scared they got them damn masks yeah, on. Yeah, that's true. We should have got them on camera. They walking by, they got masks on. Both of them. You in the middle of the park? There's nobody around you. And you got mask on. You fucking bugging, bitch. You don't see, see the geese ain't wearing no mask. Yeah, we, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got no mask on. Mask off. Was that a song or something? <laughs> didn't, didn't they say that shit? You can track that. You can have that shit on your on your uh, shoes. So now you got, oh yeah, so it'll be on your shoes and shit any damn way. Yeah, you gonna take your shoes off, your hands touch. Come on, y'all, those people. Yeah, they tell you they got no faith in the Lord. Yeah. Lord, this ain't no real plague and a real plague. You know some real plague shit was going on. You be literally stepping over dead bodies in the street. Like during the Black Death, you stepping over dead bodies in the street. Whole cities is getting wiped out. Like death. Stank. Stank. Stench. You, just, you can smell it. You know what I mean? So this ain't no real plague. They say, they say it didn't even hit the reach, the, uh, the highest peak yet, whatever it's called. Well, they say how many people died worldwide? About 100,000? Or 200? No, it ain't hit no million. Yeah. Did it? Yeah. You yeah. Sure? A couple days ago, yeah. Maybe. Well, I don't think it was maybe a million cases, but I'm talking about deaths. Oh, died, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was yeah, like 200,000 or something. Yeah. Something I forget. Like but what? there's like how many 9 billion people in the world? Yeah. Do the math on that, bro. That it's less than 1%, it's way less than 1% of the... Ain't nobody even catching that shit. But I was hoping people was catching it, man. Yeah, Don't someone, get me wrong, you know? Someone made a good point, too. Like, if it was their point, then they should be able to just, to, like, when they do their test shit, they should be able to just put the shit in your mouth. And, yeah. Why the fuck you got to stick something way up the damn nose shit, shit? Yeah, what like, the fuck is that? That shit ain't no damn bad. That shit, I can't, that shit can't be everywhere. I mean, I don't fucking know, but... It, they probably giving you something when they stick that in. Yeah. Man, there's all kind of reports on the news. I just seen this bitch was freaking out in this new, newest video. She was like, I went to the hospital. They didn't even give me no test. <laughs> and they saying I got corona. You see it? No, I see it. Uh, the Judite woman, she was tripping. She was, she was mad as hell. She was like, they didn't give me no test. They said I, they assumed I had it. So they just, they had a government, the CDC just came out and said, uh, that if, no matter how you died, if you had a little bit of corona in you, even if you wasn't sick, they gonna label it as a corona oh, death. Shit. <laughs> so you know the memes went crazy on that one. You fall out of parachute. You, well, you fall out of airplane with no parachute, die. That's the corona. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, you see, they had them fake. They try to say they had them mass graves burying caskets and mass graves. And then that picture came out, but the caskets were actually empty. Like, come on, man. I tell you, he's uh, perfectly he's, trying to... He's the devil. Yeah. That's what the devil does. I mean, the devil really do devil his ass shit. He'll really just make up some shit. And just, just lie to everybody blatantly. Oh, you know about Operation Mockingbird? Check out the latest Operation Mockingbird videos. Type that to search engine, Google, YouTube, whatever. But they got videos on YouTube, Operation Mockingbird dealing with the coronavirus. And it will show like, like 50 different local news stations from all across the country, all saying the exact same thing. Like they're all reading out the exact same script, but they'll like tweak it a little bit to their city's name and stuff. And it all, you can just see it's all scripted. Everything they're saying is all screwed. Look it up, Operation Mockingbird. Y'all gotta know about that. Now that's some bugged out shit. We dealing with the actual devil. Cause really 
what they're doing with this coronavirus shit. This is really a black. Let's get that uh, Isaiah 44. Uh, now 47. 47. Because really what they're doing, this is a form of black magic and witchcraft. They put a spell on the people. And they use that spell, you know, through the media, through the government, all these goddamn speeches. Every day there's a new fucking speech in a press conference every day. Because every day they got to come out there and hypnotize you. They got to come out there and hypnotize you. And get, you know, because they got to keep doing it. You know what I mean? To keep y'all under that spell. I'll go ahead. You know what I want, right? Going to the witchcrafts and sorceries and all that. It's uh, Isaiah 47. And, uh... Because we dealing with actual sorcerers and wizards. America was founded by Freemasons. I mean, it's not even a secret. And they in all kind of witchcraft and sorcery. And yes, the mass media, that's a form of sorcery. They put people under a spell. Okay, and when they feed you all these lies, and what they do, they, they put you in that spell and they alter your perception of reality with all that bullshit they're feeding you. All those lies they're feeding you and it's altering your perception of what's real and what's not real. And that's, a, that's black magic. Go ahead. I say that's what they say. Said unsafe, but and this devil actually think he's going to get away with this. Because he know a lot of people, a lot of the uh, the useless eaters out here, that they, they'll, they'll follow that every word the government says. You know, they'll listen, they'll believe everything. They'll believe everything Fox News and CNN says, you know. And th this devil, he thinks none see it. Either. You know what I mean? You know, the average person probably didn't see the uh, videos with all the empty hospitals. You know, most of the hospitals are empty. But if you watch the news, the news are going to tell you all the hospitals are over flooded. There's panic in the hospitals. They're just, it's crazy. It's bananas. But if you go look at the actual hospitals, they all empty. Go ahead. Let's get to verse 9. It says, But these two things shall come in one moment, and one day, also children, and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection uh, for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantments. Yeah, so it's America. That's what's going to happen to America for the abundance of your sorceries and your witchcraft and enchantments. And I believe you would look that word enchantment up in the Hebrew. What they fuck? <laughs> you look that word enchantment up in Hebrew. You know what the word is for that? No, I don't. It's a Go back to the serpent. They go back to some serp some serpent shit. You know what I mean? A serpent. Oh, a serpent's a devil. A fork tongued serpent. A liar. A demon. A devil. Go ahead. It says, uh, for that I have trusted in thy wickedness, that I have said, none see it, thy wisdom. Yeah, they see it, they say none see it. They actually think they're going to get away with this. Because they're so proud. Go ahead. It says, that uh, wisdom and thy knowledge, they have perverted thee. That wisdom and thy knowledge. Oh, they got that great wisdom and knowledge. The sciences, like Bill Gates, coming with his vaccines and the science and all this bullshit. Oh, they got all the medical experts like Fauci. Oh, you know about that Fauci, right? They saying Trump about to fire his bitch ass, but uh, but they coming on TV with all they supposed great wisdom and knowledge and how you know what I'm saying? Like they know so much. Go ahead. Thou hast said in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. Yeah, that's how America feel, ain't they? They think there's none else beside them. They think America is the greatest nation on earth. They can't be seen. They they feel they can't be defeated in battle. They feel that America's economy is always going to be number one. See, that's that pride. That's that strong delusion. Go ahead. It says, uh, therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. Who? There's there, therefore shall evil come upon you. You don't know where it's coming from. From whence it rises. Go ahead. The mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly. Ooh. Desolation shall come upon thee suddenly. Go ahead. Which thou shalt not know. Which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, when thou hast labored from thy youth. And, and so Esau has been laboring with sorceries from his youth. Even back to the youth of America. Like I said, go back to the youth of America. America was literally founded by Freemasons. All the founding fathers, they used to have this thing called the Sons of Liberty, where they conspire against the British crown and they would meet up in secret in Freemason uh, lounges or lodges, temples, or temples. Go ahead. It's 
Uh, oh, that's why you, I'm sorry, but that's why you had a, a something called an anti-Freemasonic party. You know about that? That used to be in the early 1800s. That used to be an actual political party called the anti-Freemason party. You know, it was a, was a John Quincy uh, Adams. J. John Quincy Adams, he was elected president as a member of the anti-Freemason party. That tells you how big of a problem Freemasonry was in early America. If they had to create a whole political party to oppose that shit. And they even said they devil worshippers. They said it. That, that was He was running for president on that. These goddamn devil worshippers out here. You know, and people knew, people used to know about the Freemasons. They knew they was devil worshippers. Go ahead. It says, uh, uh, and, uh, says, Thou shalt not know when, when it rises, and mission shall fall upon thee, and thou shalt not be able to put it off. The desolation shall come upon thee suddenly. The hell, that I read that so like That's cool. It's good to read it Read it again, a th a thrice. Now you got to do it thrice. So, he says, What's thou shalt not know? Stand now. No, you gotta start back at the top. With the, right. <laughs> right in that part with the with the, the desolation shall come upon you suddenly. This is that shall that shall not be able to put it off. The desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, but thou shalt not know. Stand now with thine enchantments and to mock to thy sources when thou hast labored from thy youth. So be thou uh, shalt be uh, be able to profit if so be thou mayest prevail. Thy word in the multitude of thy counsels. Uh, let now the astronomers, the, yeah, the astrologers, yeah. yeah, the monthly pro whatever, the prognosticators. Yeah. A prognosticator, uh, you know, it's like the witches and warlocks. They give them their prophecies of what's going to happen in the future. The word prognosticator, pro means before, and nos, nos, that comes from the word gnostic knowledge. It just means foreknowledge. You know, that's like the little witches and wizards. They give, you know what I mean? They might sacrifice an animal. And look at the intestines and the entrails, get prophecies from it. Or they get prophecies from the stars and constellations. Esau big into this uh, worshiping of the stars. Go ahead. So stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. So ain't nothing going to save y'all. Y'all ain't know what's coming your way, man. Ultimately what's coming is that fire is going to rain down from heaven on your fucking bitch ass. Ah, I just... Oh, it's cold out here, boy. Look at your boy. <laughs> he don't even look right running. Some people don't should not run. This guy over here staring at us, looking like uh. Dang, he's, he's just staring. he's just over there yeah. just staring, bro. Yeah, he's been staring for a minute. Boy. He's just standing there staring, like all dressed in black, looking creepy. Hood ass geese. They don't took this part. This is their part. It really is though. That's how they act. They're like, this is our shit. This is what I was gonna get right here. Psalms 11 and uh, I'm just gonna start with one. And the Lord and Yahweh put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For the low, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow upon the string that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. Is this the right one? Oh, yeah, this is right. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Yahweh is in his holy temple. Yahweh's stone is in heaven. His eyes behold his eyelids try the children of men. Yahweh tried the righteous, the righteous, but the excuse me. Yahweh tried the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hated. Oh, who's that? Who's the man that loves violence? Is it Esau, the Edomites? You said they love violence. Look, it said, upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone in a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. So the Lord fend the rain. Snares, fire, and brimstone. A horrible tempest. What's a tempest? A tempest is a storm. So this is going to be a fiery storm that's coming. That nuclear, you ever get on YouTube. Y'all got to watch some nuclear videos from time to time. You know what I'm saying? Get, get used for what you're going to see. Yeah, the thermonuclear explosions. Oh, that's just entertainment, just watching the ducks and shit.
Let me read that again. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone, a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous, Yahweh loveth righteousness. His countenance doth behold the upright. But that's the point, though. You know what I'm saying? Upon the wicked, the Lord, he gonna rain fire. He gonna rain fire. Fire and brimstone. Oh, you know, that's how the Christians try to say fire and brimstone is hell. Like some place you go when you die. But that fire and brimstone is going to be raining on you. It's coming out of the sky. It's coming from the missiles, coming from the chariots. Look at these even mites. Look at Esau's dogs be foul. All you got to think of is this camera probably going to die soon. It is kind of cold today. We ain't going to stay out here for 10 hours. I wonder what all the mother camps are doing. Does IUIC still go out with the corona virus? I ain't even seen them in Columbus in a minute though. Have you seen them? I seen Comfy's people out there a few months back. What you got? I wonder if Comfy's group, I wonder if they're gonna stay together. We're gonna be interested to see what happens with that. It's uh, Psalms, I mean Isaiah 50, 34. And uh, uh, four says, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. Who? It said, all the hosts of heaven. Read that again. That is fire. All the hosts of the heavens shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. The heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. All oh, just like that psalm says, a horrible tempest. A horrible tempest is a storm. And then I said, the heavens gonna be rolled together as a scroll. You're watching videos of them, them nukes. When you see the cloud come out, it come out like this. It's like a scroll, and then it rolls up. And it, you know what I mean? It, well, it rolls out. You see how they roll out? And that, that, that cloud form just rolls out, and then it comes back in. That shit is amazing. So, <laughs> it's going, uh, yeah. All right, they're fucking about the, the boy in China. They over there tripping over there in the South China Sea and shit. What are they, what, Taiwan Straits, whatever? Oh, yeah. The America sending, uh, what they call it, uh, fucking ship killer, whatever the fuck. So now that World War Three shit's coming back up now. Oh, yeah, plus they all that talk. They trying to say, oh, blame China for the COVID-19 and all that shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they try, yeah. I think Trump said he trying to blame on him because, uh... But they have, because first of all, we already on war really goes down to the money, right? And power and control. Because first, before this whole COVID-19 popped off, there was a big trade war going on with China. Now, all of a sudden, this shit happens. You know? It's like, this shit ain't no coincidence. Because they already had a trade war going with China. Because China makes every goddamn thing. They make everything. America don't make shit. What's made in America? Meth? What do they make in America? Tell me a product. I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch of them. But, that, but all, almost everything is made in China. Almost everything is manufactured in China. They can't manufacture shit over here. This country is trash. That's how you know it's on its way out. Oh, the sword! The Lord's sword shall be bathed in heaven. That's talking about them chariots. And the Lord gonna come out of the clouds in them chariots. And his sword gonna be bathed in heaven. Cause when the Lord come back to the military, gonna try to fight against him. And they all they all gonna be destroyed. They are gonna be cast out of heaven. Yep. I t I tell you about the dream I had. Should I tell you about it? No, I had a dream like years ago, oh yeah, like ten years ago. I had that dream about the missiles coming down and the angels too was coming down. Some of the angels was blocking the missiles or, the, or what? I can't explain it the way it was. You know, the angels was protecting us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so when the missiles is coming, the angels is coming too. That's just going to be amazing. It says, we shall come down upon Adumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Yeah, on Adumia. Adumia is Esau. That's the Edomites. That's who's ruling the earth, is Esau. And that's who the Lord's sword is going to come down. It's going to come down on Esau. Who's the one behind this coronavirus shit? This lockdown, trying to implant everybody with microchips and give everybody vaccinations. That's Esau. That's Idumia. 
And they're gonna pay for that shit, man. But it's about to die. You good? You gonna say shalom up?